Hello everyone, my name is Adiola Orogun and um, I am grateful to God for being a member of this great family, the Covenant Assembly Mission. Um, I joined TCAM in 2019 when I moved into Abuja from Benin with my family and the first set of uh, people I connected with in TCAM was the Lopos Pastor Yuto and her husband Dr. David. Um, Dr. David introduced me to the Covenant classes. I always knew that you know when you join a new church, there's usually um, a path that you have to go through to be considered a full member of the church. So of course I was ready to um, go through that uh, process, but I didn't really know the extent it was. As in, you have to you know climb. You need you are encouraged to climb the training tree. So when I saw how big it was, I was like, ah, I hope I'll be able to do this because it seems like something that was big. But um, God helped me. I uh, started with the covenant classes and. Um, he actually gave me the wisdom on how to go about it. All I needed to do was just to, you know, um, commit to a few pages a day. And then um, I just took that step to, you know, pray before I start going through the um, the manuals. Um, try to um, commit to maybe two or three or five pages in a day, reflect on the scriptures there and share it with um, my friends or um, church members, believers, faith family members. So um, that's why I, that's why I was able to go through the um, training tree, but the, the what ha has really blessed me in climbing the training tree is the fact that it changed my perception about um, going through that um, um, Bible study stuff in churches. You know, it's, it's not just about trying to fulfill um, a religious obligation; it's more about trying to fulfill the mandates of Christ, which which is a desire for us. You know, the scripture says that God wants us to grow into the full stature of Christ. So I'm um, going through the training tree, committing to um, reflecting on those scriptures, searching through the Bible and filling in the scriptures and, and you know, going through the process. God caused a lot of transformation in my life. I was, I realized that I was becoming very um, fruitful in areas. When I, when I came into um, Abuja, I, I didn't really know how to, you know, um, work with a group of people. I'm not that kind of, I'm usually, usually reserved on my own. But, you know, um, when I joined Kitty Cam, and God put this vision in my heart about praying for people that are not feeling fine. And I shared with Pastor Mata. I think God uh, set up the Osusu uh, Station Unit where I had to work with other members of the unit who are already leaders in their own in their own way. So it wasn't easy for me to connect, but God gave me the wisdom because at that time I was still going through the manual, the basic and the advanced at that time. So through what I had learned from the manual, I was able to connect and be encouraged. Even when... Uh, we have meetings and people don't show up. God will tell them that you are here. So you stand in gap for every other person that is here and ensure that the purpose for the unit is you know, fulfilled. So um, it's actually been a great time um, going through the scriptures with God, with the Holy Spirit, teaching me different things. And another thing that I've also, that has really blessed me when I was um, climbing the training tree was, um, it has helped me to, you know, relate with even my husband better, my children, my patients in the hospital. It was easy for me to connect with them. If you are just, you just, just, God just gave me this ability to be sensitive to people's needs and to be able to, you know, connect with them better. So I want to encourage everyone who has not started the process who, or who has, you know, kind of abandoned it along the way. Um, the training tree is not just a man-made thing. I don't, I don't believe it's something that dad and mom just came up with and decided to say, okay, let everybody just be going through and going through. I believe it's something that is inspired by God. It's a strategy that God is using in TCAM to grow everyone into the house. We can, we can come to that, that position where we can easily lead other people to him because really our man, our commission is to lead people to Christ. So if, if, even if we are not aspiring to be leaders and uh, to, to all the leaders, leader, leadership position, the training tree equips us with what we need to relate with other people. It equips us to the ability to grow and be deep in the word of God and also to live that victorious life that God has called us to live. It helps us to fulfill purpose. That's, also, that's one major thing that the training has done for me. And lastly, it has helped me to connect better with the vision of TCAM. So, you know, run accurately with the word when it comes from the shepherd that God has placed over us. That's that and mom. When they, when they say God has said this concerning TCAM members, the training tree has, the, what, I've, what I've got from training has, has given me the ability to connect with it and run accurately with the word and see it manifest in my life. So I want to encourage everyone who has not gone through the training tree or who has having one challenge or the other, God is always there. He's the one that has called us to grow. And um, climbing through the training tree is one effective way to do that.
God bless you all.